everybody so today's class is on flower fertilization so a brief recap with flower parts six main parts calyx corolla andrisium gynesium thalamus and perisome we gone through that so i'll just talk about andrisium and gynesium and its association with today's class so first of all andrisium which has two main parts first of all the filament which is the small sticks and the other part is the stamens which is the small bulbous region the yellow and red region found in there and inside the yellow and bubbles we can find the pollen grains which is found inside and the used for pollination and for gynesium we have the long stick like style and the uh, stigma at the top and we also have the ovary which is found inside at the bottom region which is not visible here it is still there and inside the ovary we can find the egg or the ovule and there the fertilization occurs so in this picture you can see a flower with the anther and everything and from there what happens yeah another picture and from there the uh, from side from the anther the pollen grains like in this picture falls to the leaf and everywhere else and reaches the stigma this is an example of pollen grain a single pollen grain and at the stigma it reaches and it goes and thus the rest of the part which we'll get to now look at the picture it is a stigma a gynesium and which is associated parts and the yellow color forms the pollen grains from the anther so i'll denote it in yellow the small dots are the pollen grains i'll make it better next time but this time just follow the arrow so it goes down and reaches the stigma where it settles down so from there what happens is that it forms a pollen tube i'll denote it in red so a tube is forming that is one side i'll make it really into a tube so this one yeah there we go and what happens is that the pollen grains move from the stigma to the ovule which is in blue so let us let me draw an arrow and two points to denote it and there we go to the ovule through the pollen tube and fertilization occur and this ovule which uh, and the pollen seed together forms the fertilization fertilization occur there so i'll denote it in purple there now the ovule turns into the seed which is found in the flower later on and that's the main idea for fertilization inside a flower thank you